beginning with our first look at the mountain of evidence found inside a former MCSO deputy's home. Raymond Armanderas committed suicide last May, a week after resigning from the sheriff's office. ABC 15's Elizabeth Irwin is live downtown tonight. And Elizabeth, you've spent the day just pouring through all of this evidence. What did you find? Stephanie, nearly 2,000 photos taken of the evidence that Deputy Armanderas kept inside his home. Tonight, we're getting a closer look at what we found and what we're still waiting to get our hands on. Photo after photo, giving us a deeper look at how serious this case really is. An MCSO deputy in a standoff with police just days before his death. We had heard about what was found inside Ramon Armanderas' home, but hadn't seen the huge scope of evidence he was hoarding until now. We're talking weapons, drugs, a bag investigators thought might be evidence for a Border Patrol case, hundreds of driver's licenses, Mexican IDs, license plates, Social Security cards, credit cards, evidence Armanderas took during traffic stops, then took home. The sheer amount of this stuff makes it sound more like he was collecting it for the sake of collecting it. Criminal defense attorney Russ Richelsoff was shocked to find out how much evidence was being kept in the former deputy's home. He says the motive behind keeping it doesn't change the outcome. That doesn't change the fact that his, you know, taking these things from people and not submitting them properly as evidence is legal. I mean, it's, it's illegal if that's what he did. One thing not included in our request for information, recordings Armanderas made of his traffic stops, 2,000 of them. We were given photos of his body cam, but not the material that camera collected. That information could have huge implications in Sheriff Joe Arpaio's racial profiling case. It's alleged Armanderas was shaking down immigrants during those traffic stops. And Armanderas was supposed to be a witness in that racial profiling case. Investigations into Sheriff Joe Arpaio continue in federal court. In fact, he's expected to be back in court early next month. Yeah, no doubt we'll be following this very closely. Elizabeth, thank you.